بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I am Abdul Habib Yusufzai working in the field of management information system quality management science uh, 2002 managing user uh, there are two, uh, two types of user accounts in UDK web based user accounts and other is the apps based user accounts web based user accounts have access on the online centralized data management system or server web-based uh, web <coughs> user account can have specific rights on the centralized server uh, server data or server form such as permission on one or multiple projects data view permission data view and download permission data submit only permission data delete or edit permissions and the developer can create uh, other more rules for permissions and uh, what whatever uh, the developer wants or what, whatever the end user need for some uh, permission these web based accounts are global across all all the project or, or one project and the server they can log in the web interface and performs administration acts, act, action or task like uh, like user management, forum upload, data management, download data in various uh, forms such as CSV, Excel, SPSS or other. And they can share the project or form with other uh, web-based user account and they can uh, use it. They can delete and replace the form and they can create a new project or form. Here I am focusing on apps user account. Apps user account uh, use mobile data collection apps like UDK Collect or Kobo Collect to connect to the centralized data management server. Apps user are limited to a single project at a time. Once they uh, connected through the apps, it's, if it's UDK or uh, UDK Collect or Kobo Collect, they will be able to see the list of forms from uh, the project. Here is the UDK Collect. I am using here the UDK Collect. And you can use the Kobo Collect. The settings for the administration task are the same for both. And they can download one or more form from the server. Whenever you set the server setting here, and they can download one or more form from the server. And we can click back and back. Whenever we click on get, and this user can get the form from the server. He, here they ask for the password, user and password. I will give you the password again and now I click the OK button and here is the list of form you can download it get you can clear and can download one specific form or you can download all the forms select all whenever you click on the select on uh, uh, select all button here you can download all the form and get all the form you can refresh click on the ref refresh button to refresh if, if, if the form is not uh, appear you can click on the refresh button here and uh, they reconnect to the server and now I want to uh, download one form for example this one and get and it it is downloaded to my UDK Collect or UDK Collect and Mobile. And the apps user can upload the completed submission or to the forms. For example, they are entering the data here and whenever they completed the submission and then they can upload it or send it to the server and send finalize. Uh, through this administration uh, 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 menu, main menu, and 
the user can delete and edit the completed forms if they enter they can edit the form if the list of form he came here they can click here and ed uh, edit the form they can delete the form from here they can delete the saved form or blank form from here and these are the administration task to delete the for, uh, form or update uh, or uh, get the form and they can take the backup of completing completed form so in their mobile devices or other devices they can copy all the data from their mobiles and put it into the flash disk or and other hard disk or uh, computers and keep it for the future use now we are coming here to focus on the user defined metadata and how to control the access uh, to the users or what access user or what permission the user should have or should has and here we can uh, click on the three dots here and admin setting we will put the password first we will i created the password admin password for my odk you can create it your own password for this purpose i will give the password and this is my password so now i click the ok and now i am able to see uh, here all the admin interface this admin setting you know and general setting is admin password you can create here the admin password and as I mentioned, it's user access control. Here we control uh, the access of users to my you know, user setting, form entry. And here, whenever we uh, click on the my menu setting, here we, if you want to, if you want the user not able to delete the form, save form, you can uncheck this one not able to get the form from the server and uncheck this one and whenever we click the bug buttons and bug we see see here here is not the two buttons for get the blank forms and delete the forms and now the user is not able to uh, delete the form the saved form delete the save form or get the blank form if you come back to the admin setting here and uh, first we see the, the, the general setting here the server general setting and we have the server here if you want to uh, avoid the user or limit the user to access this server setting then it's it, it we can limit this uh, him from her or him from uh, admin setting back back and come click on three dot admin setting I will put the user here sorry the password here and I put my password here and ok and now I can see here and this is the user setting and you can limit the user to all these action or tasks delete form after send auto send tool like this these are the action or tasks you can limit the user to him I just limit the user to the server or maybe to the teams they cannot change the team to dark or like previously I described this in the tutorials of ODK collect and now I check up the check of the server I uncheck the server and click back and back came here and select general setting here is no server and the user is not able to uh, change the server setting or he or she is not able to see your server URL or user or like password like this and it's very important for administration whenever you are in, you want to collect the data from the field it's required to limit the user to access your server or see your user 
uh, URL or server address like this and you can do it from the admin setting and in this case the uh, enumerator will not have access to these and uh, whenever they click here and general setting and you can see here uh, the server is not appear and back in back and come back to ODK and it's the same like I limited and the ODK user ODK collect user and now I came again to the admin setting admin setting and I put the password here and okay I see this and came to the user setting I check the server and click back and we can uncheck the general setting or language like this they can cannot change the language during the data entry and here uh, now we click again back if we come here and general setting and the, the server is up here and this is the server setting and come back click back back and this is the interface whenever we want to uh, limit the enumerator to not change the general setting or language they should click the data with the default language for example if we whenever we click the fill in blank form here we, the enumerator can change the language like this and change uh, go to the general setting like this if you want to limit him if you want to limit him we came to the admin setting and put the password here and okay came here and after, if we want to only uh, limit him to the uh, change language uh, changing language and uncheck this one and if you want to limit him to general setting uh, as well and and the, at the time of or during data entry you can uncheck this and come back and back whenever you click on fill blank form and this and you you cannot see the three dots here and how to change it ignore and came to back to general setting admin setting sorry admin setting and we'll put the an okay came here entry during the entry or data collection uh, the user can able to change the language select this one check this one and came back and back whenever you click and now you can the, uh, now the user or enumerator can change the language here then these are the administration tasks to how to limit the user to access the ODK interface or how to uh, limit the user from changing the server setting from deleting the form or from getting the new updated form once the form completed just set up all the or configure all the mobiles and uh, and give it to the enumerator they can easily collect the data from the field and one thing else whenever it came here in admin setting well okay came to general setting and came here to user and device identity and form data these are automatically get by mobile or your smartphone and you can put the enumerator name here phone number and email address you can track each enumerator uh, whenever they upload the data you if uh, if inconsistency or something is occur incorrectly they uploaded the data or uh, they miss some fields or variables or questions 
and you can call or you can easily contact to him or her and it's required to be set up by administrator whenever they're collecting the data and click on back back come back here and click on mine mine menu setting and on these now it's in a normal view the mine menu like this 